Welcome back. So guys, guess what? The fifth annual Real TV Critics' Choice nominations came out on Monday. And this is what's crazy. I went to the inaugural Real TV Critics' Choice. That was the first event after I became a member of the Critics' Choice Association. So now to be saying fifth annual is crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And when COVID hit, there were actually no ceremonies for a couple of years because right. We weren't meeting. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, because I mean, it was COVID. <laughs> you all know what had happened. So we had, yeah. I don't need to rehash that. There was a situation. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I was so fortunate enough to be on two of the nominating committees this year. So each nominating committee takes different uh, genres of reality TV. But I wanted to share with you some of the nominations because I think you're going to be familiar with some, Maddie. I think I might be familiar with Okay. Long. Let's take a look at our first category. Just came out Monday. Let's talk about this. Best Relationship Show, Farmer Wants a Wife. Oh, wow. The farmer wants a wife. The farmer wants a wife. Hi ho, the dairy oh, The farmer wants a wife. Okay, awesome. I'm invested. Uh, farmer wants a wife. We love Indian matchmaking, Jewish matchmaking, Love Is Blind, which I've covered. Yes. Married at First Sight and The Parent Test. Oh. Quick little fun fact: I got my screener for Jewish matchmaking, and I loved it. And it came out in May, and yeah. I actually am the one on my committee to suggest that one. And I'm so happy the other critics agreed with me. That's I was awesome. Like, it was so fun. The only one I haven't heard is the parent test. Yes, I. That one is is it's good. I I have my favorites though. Okay. I gotcha. have my other favorites. Okay. Our next category. Uh, this is for best competition series. Oh. Okay. The Amazing Race. Lego Masters right here on Fox because you know hey. we had on our local contestants last year who were on Lego Masters. RuPaul's Drag Race, Drag Race All-Stars, Survivor, and The Traders. Now, I just, Will Arnett and Lego Masters to me is just like amazing. Yeah. I mean, I do love the show and we've had local people on. Oh, how cool. That as well. So much local talent here. Uh, yeah. Oh, and then angry producer Charlie. His favorite, Survivor. Said Survivor. And that's his go-to line. When he meets anybody new, he's like, do you watch Survivor? Yeah. I'm just saying. Uh, eating his Marie calendar. Yeah. Okay, our next category. Best competition series, talent or variety. Okay. America's Got Talent, um, America's Got Talent All Stars, Dancing with the Stars, The Mass Singer, Singer, My Kind of Country, and The Voice. And I mean, come on. I mean, Fox is putting up a good fight. I hey. mean, Fox is here to play, yo. Okay. But I, I, I really do like these shows. It was so much fun going back and forth with other critics, just getting a different opinions. Oh, yeah. And I agree, you're not going to agree with everybody. Of course not. But, you know, we go through the whole process. We all throw out our submissions and... I would say you're not going to agree because you're critics, and yeah. critics have opinions, and yeah. opinions differ. So, and they yes. differ. <laughs> so, way to go, Mass Singer. I was really excited about that. Yeah. Okay, our next category. Uh, best business show, oh. American Greed, Bar Rescue, House Hunters, Restaurant Impossible, Shark Tank, and Wall Street. Oh, Wall Street. Yes. Huh. Uh, can I just say, and I, I love this because, okay, so I went to the inaugural Critics' Choice Real TV Awards five years ago, and I was on the red carpet, and I met uh, John Taffer's wife of Bar Rescue. Oh, I low-key love John Taffer. He's I very aggressive, but I feel like he's a big teddy bear. He just yeah. wants the best for the bar. Well, so I ended up talking to Nicole Taffer, not okay. realizing who she was. Uh -huh. We're just chatting up as people would do. do. <laughs> Nicole Taffer and I become friends on Instagram, and... At that moment, then she goes, oh, here's my husband, John Taffer. And I'm like, and I'm, can I interview you? So I did an interview with John Taffer. Okay. I was just like, but what's funny is uh, she has messaged me. She's been on vacation with John in Europe. Uh -huh. And one of my international infomercials was on TV. And she screenshotted it. Stop it. Sent it to me. She goes, uh, Jeremy, I'm in Europe right now. And guess who's on my TV? And Nicole messaged me. That's amazing. Isn't what's, that crazy? What's the infomercial? I'll or, get to okay, that later. Tell me. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I was just like, <laughs> so I messaged her and I'm just excited. I, again, That's I'm so not cool. playing favorites. I'm just saying yeah. she's a lovely So this lady. was recently that she sent you the DM. That was like last year. Last year, But we okay. were DMing about the nominations this, gotcha. this time too. She's, I feel comfortable. She also wished me a happy birthday. I'm like, yeah. she's the nicest person. And John is too as well. Yeah. Okay, our next one is cr best crime justice show. I did this one for you, Maddie, because I thought- you. I love true crime. I know, I'm gonna take your take on what you like. 911 Crisis Center, El Evil Lives Here, How I Caught My Killer, In Pursuit with John Walsh, Unsolved Mysteries Volume 3, which oh. we were talking about with Charlie today. Yes. And Web of Make Believe, Death Lies, and the Internet. Ooh, okay, so now I've got a long running list. Uh, yeah. Evil Lies Here I've watched. Um, 911 Crisis Center I've watched, yeah. Do you <laughs> like these choices? I do, yes. And uh, Charlie, Angry Charlie was telling us, Unsolved Mysteries Volume 3 actually has a follow-up, and they may have caught 
somebody that was featured on the show, so. Oh, yeah, and it was from uh, like a viewer of the yes. show, like putting everything together. A little girl who was kidnapped was found, I think, alive at 15, and she's gonna be reunited with her family. Oh my gosh, ooh, chills. I know, I got chills. chills. These shows work, guys. Okay, our next one. Best structured series, Bar Rescue again. There he Just is, saying. John Taffer. Diners, drive-ins, and dives, the gentle art of Swedish death cleaning, which is <laughs> funny. Gutsy, <laughs> Shark Tank, and Taste the Nation with Padma Lakshmi. I can never say her name. Lakshmi. Lakshmi. Sorry, and I did meet her last year, and she was very nice. I've heard that about she, her. She won a million awards last year. Like, she did. The critics do love her. Yeah. She was lovely and gorgeous in person. And of course, they are. I, they're more they're more beautiful in person than on It's screen. true. Yeah. I was just happy because I'm always nervous, you know, I've met a few rude celebrities and I'm always nervous. Is this, are they gonna be mean? Hot and cold, hot and you cold. You never know. What are we gonna, what are we feeling? And did you catch them on a bad day? I don't know. That's true. Never know. Celebrities do have bad days. They do. Okay, best unstructured series, Below Deck Sailing Yacht, Okay. Couples Therapy, Formula One Drive to Survive, the Kardashians, Kardashians. I am shocked that got in there, though. I'm just saying. This was not one of my categories. They, they say unstructured. It's structured. Uh, no. But MTV's following Brett, Bretman Rock oh. and Vanderpump Rules. I had to put that for you. Yes. Because I know time. how you feel about that show. Yes. I love Finale it. tonight, right? I know. I'm so excited. Uh, that's so crazy. Uh, by, yeah, I was not on this committee, though, so I'm shocked that the Kardashians made it because they've not had good reviews. No, they haven't. Uh, I guess season three is supposed to be like, ooh, you thought we'll we were see. just going to lay low? You're wrong. No. Okay, you say that every Okay, season. I don't know how many we have left. I put a bunch in there. Okay, best ensemble cast and unscripted show. Below Deck Sailing, Dancing with the Stars, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, Special Forces, Survivor, and Vanderpump Rules. There, there she is, Lisa. I'm just, just saying. Rolling. That show has had a resurgence. Yeah, it has. But uh, the Real TV Critics Choice Awards are scheduled for mid-June. Okay. Because of the writer's strike, we don't know if it will happen yet, so oh. we're still waiting. Okay. But you, by the way, you can always catch a new mass Singer, the finale, and Farmer Wants Wife tonight. Tonight. Right here on Fox. Awesome. All right, we'll be right back. We might be doing some flips and tricks. I don't know, so stay tuned.